Hey, welcome back to the next lesson of our zigzag tutorial series. In this lesson, we're going to create a camera follow script. Now you first might think, why not just parent the camera to the ball? And the reason why we can't do that is because the ball rotates. So if I take the camera and I drag it on to the player ball game object, and then I click play, you'll notice that when our ball starts moving, our camera rotates with our ball. And that just looks really dizzying. Instead, we need to create a script that will control our camera's movement to follow the ball without rotating. And so let's right click in our scripts folder, go up to create, and select C Sharp Script. Let's then rename this to follow, and we'll open it up. Inside the script, the first thing that we want to do is create some variables, and the first variable is going to be of type transform and I'm going to call it target. The next one is then going to be a vector three and we'll call this starting distance. We then need to initialize the target variable and we'll do this within the start function and this is just going to be target equals and then we'll use the singleton of our ball controller script to get the target object. And so we're going to type ballcontroller.instance.transform. We then need to get the starting vector3 distance between this object and our target object. And so I'm going to type starting distance equals transform.position minus target.position. Once we've initialized these variables, we then need to create a new function, which will be for making our camera object follow our ball. And so I'm going to type void and we'll call this function follow ball. Inside this function, all we need to do is type one line of code, which will be transform.position equals new vector3. And then for the x component, we'll type target.position.x plus starting distance.x. Then for the y component, we'll just type starting distance dot y. And the reason why we're doing this for the y component is because we don't want our camera to follow the ball in the y direction. We want our camera to be at the same height at all times. Then for the z component, we're going to type target dot position dot z plus starting distance dot z. Once we have this function created, we then just need to call this function and we'll call it within our update function. Once we have this script created, we can then go ahead and save it and go back to Unity. Inside Unity, all we have to do is select our main camera object and then drag on our follow script. Now let's go ahead and play our game and we'll see how it works. And there we go, we now have our camera following our ball and our camera isn't rotating with our ball. Then if our ball falls off the track, you can see that our camera stays at the same height. Now that's everything that we're gonna cover in this lesson on how to create a camera follow script for our zigzag game. 